Right, hello everybody. Um, I, this is a little try it Tuesday. Um, I actually had this envelope left over from last year. Okay, and all that was done to that has been coffee stained previously. Okay, um, and it's in, you know it's it's okay, but it's not very thick. This one, right, and it's been in dry embossed. Okay, put through the machine. Right, now, a few people say that they keep going through their cards, you know, a bit like, like this here, okay? That does happen sometimes, but you, have, you need to release the pressure a bit. Now, I use, instead of the, one of these, I use one of these plates. My sandwich at the moment is the magnetic block, one of those, okay? And then I use this one on the top. Okay, it's for a Gemini. I saw it in like the range or somewhere like that. It's just a thin piece of plastic. Now, sometimes you um, you can have like two pieces of a file folder plastic. Those ones might work. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's about three. I think that's about two mil instead of three. These are about three mil. Okay. And I reckon I can tell you because I've got some calibers. You can also do it with a couple of thick pieces of card. Yeah. I think that's um so I got this from my laser machine so okay that's that's reading 1.4 mil let's see what this is that's 3.6 okay so you're literally half the thickness and I find using that with my embossing plates it's just less pressure yeah, so it doesn't go through the card. Right, sometimes it still does, but you know, it's very little, it's very minimal, like like on here. But I'm lining this so it, it really doesn't worry me because it doesn't show through that side. Alright. So that's what I do. That's my sandwich. So I use that. Use that. it all out <laughs> and then that will be in here this is the smaller one but i haven't got the big one here so so pretend that's the right size for that okay and then th this gets warped but it doesn't matter and then push that through okay and then that's less pressure and if it's still too much pressure then you have to go thinner again okay like um fold folder something like that will work yeah, because that most probably half again. So that's what I do, and I don't get much problem. Now and again, but not too often. So, I mean, I have the actual thing with all the different layers and all that, but that's a, that's quite a long one. But for quickness, I just use I use that, and then you know, instead of getting my long one out. So, right. So what we're we going to do first? Okay. So then I've this coffee stain run through the embosser and this one is luckily is open because i'm going to line the inside all right i'm not sure no nope, i'm just gonna line the inside now i've got some this is just a, like net that people put up in, on windows yeah so i'm gonna line it with that because i quite like to see all the coffee staining underneath because that is quite nice so I'm going to do it with, um, so I'm just putting my, I didn't put my pin in last night, so I'll just put that in. Doing it with um, a glue stick, because I am going to stitch around mine. Um, I find glue sticks are pretty good for things like this. I'm not saying it would hold it for a long time if you wasn't stitching. So I wouldn't sort of bank on that, really. I mean, it's the same as any glue after time, isn't it? It does start to sort of um, break down. So I've noticed that with some of my cards that I made years ago. And even the, the double-sided sticky pads, you know, they come loose and things like that. So and I just lay it down and then cut it out. So... Yeah. 
it's really funny what gave me the inspiration for this i had some bits um left over from last year from yeah last year like the um this card this was hanging around and i've got quite a few of them but it just happened to be on my desk and i thought do you know what it's going to look lovely on the envelope and also um the bits of a plea case that i've been using so i thought right yes <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> so I thought I'd do this that this week for you. Okay, that's just a rough cover, but yeah, and I would leave that dry. Um, so let's see where I'm gonna. I don't have to. I might actually stitch everywhere because that's gonna feel so nice when that's done. Yeah. So. Yeah, and that gives that. This is a real thin envelope, so that's great to do that. You can do it with tissue paper, you know, but you're best to do, if you're going to line things with tissue paper and glue and that, do that before. Yeah, then you would emboss it. Yeah, and work that way. Cut around that now. A little bit better. So here, I've got a bit missing on there, so I'll just carry on. Right, is it dry enough? Yep, I think it is. So again, I'm going to go and stitch around mine with, I've got white there actually, so I'm going to do it with white today. Okay, so it's all stitched around, all right, all secure. Um, I didn't, yep, I did stitch around there and I stitched all around everywhere. Okay, so that is going to go like so, yep. And that's the top. Okay, all right, what have I chosen? Um, I've got a bit of um, music paper. I think, yeah, that's from the carols, you know, carols, that's it. And I've got lots of bits here. I'll keep those. All from, you know, some appliques and things like that all cut up so they've come in handy uh, let's put those away because i put these down first right these are bits of doily okay so i come up with and then that's going to go sort of there i'm going to stitch actually around this in black okay and ink up all right but I want this placed sort of, let's put that out. Like that, I think. Do I need that underneath? I think I do, actually. So that's going to go there. Gonna go in between. I have two of those, didn't I? So I want that down there then. And this will be coming sort of around there. Yeah, that will be over that, so that covers that seam. Yeah, like that. And just that underneath okay right what am I going to stitch down I think I'm not going to do the black that stitching because you'll see that through so that'll be stitched as one piece which will glue all that together ink it together but I might just run some stitching around there but I think that's it yeah so that definitely goes underneath that one and that goes there Okay, so I'm just going to place that down with a bit of this. And I'll hold it in place until I stitch it.
Yeah, so it's sort of created a bit of a semicircle there. Okay, and I'll open that out in a minute and just run some stitching along here. Okay, you won't really see it. Do that in white, okay? Okay, so all I've done was stitched around there and you can't really see it. Okay, and this will be up there. So you won't see it at all. Okay, so right, what I do now is I've backed this with just some coffee stain paper because this is um, quite a thin card. All right, so that's just with coffee stain paper and I've done it the same with that as well. All right, because that was on really thin paper. And then this is from the kit, which that's going in between. So we don't really need, that's fine as it is. Yeah, so that's going about there. So I'll concentrate on this now because that's going to be stuck on. So let's get that right first. Okay, and if we wanted to affix a stamp there, we could, but I'm going to come over slightly like that. Okay. And I'm in to ink round. Did forget. I have time. <laughs> but it doesn't, oh, it's not really important if you don't do it because I'm stitching around mine, but I'll just add a bit there. God, it seems ages since I've done any altered envelopes. I've got loads of videos on the minds. I love them. I got. Oh, I really like um, my most popular one was the Shabby Chic one that I done. Uh, a lot of work went into those though, but they turned out fabulous. Yeah, so that's great. So what I'm going to do now is just stitch in black stitching around there. Okay. There. Yeah, so that's done. Okay. So. I'm going to see where things are to see where I need this. All right, so this is all my bits. Um, I don't think I use that big one. All right, there's all the bits. So we want to flower sort of around here somewhere. That's going to be like our focal point. So I'm going to go from sort of there, really. Yeah, and build up from there, I think. Yep, right, I'm going to stick down instead of um, doing it all first. That's sort of how I want it. Put that one there. Okay, and then glue this down. I actually thought it was glued down. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I'm like, oh. <laughs> Silly me. <bee. laughs> Just make sure you get some over the stitching. Is that about right? <laughs> I haven't pressed it down yet. Yeah, I think we could just come over a little bit there. There we are. Okay. Um, a lot of people stick these sort of things on with hot glue that's great i just haven't got mine on this three and one is good anyway i don't uh, I, i'm a bit funny with hot glue with things you know if it becomes too bulky and you get lumps and it does it does actually it's great for fabric but after a while it does sort of um peel away from it 
edge that in so it looks like it's a part of that flower there okay i think i have him going upside there oh and if you wonder where i get the these from that um she only she's called florence homes i will post her youtube channel below but she only does post to the uk so <clears throat> i'm gonna want something here as well aren't we yeah and anyway, i'm gonna put that one there No, leave that one alone. Okay. And um, we can we can do is put those there instead. And that one there as well. Yep, we'll do that. Leave that to dry. I think we've got time to Okay. And I'll stick down the corners and everything after, yep. That's no problem. Oh, it feels lovely with that on the inside and it really gives it strength so it's great all right i think that's dry enough okay and then i will glue this down here And what we could do, actually, oh, I sometimes put a little cut here and then that can tuck in. But I might put just a little embellishment here, right, to keep that down. Because um, I, it doesn't really lend itself to a ribbon around. So I think I would do that. So let's see what we've got. I know I keep seeing this rose here, but that's going to be a pocket in the journal. Oh, there's a bit. Yeah, that's okay. What I will do, I need to stick it to a piece of card. This is quite thin paper, so... Fire folder. Use that bit. Okay, and then you just glue in, you glue half of it, or a third, well, about there, okay. So 
Just leave a tiny bit more space because I'm thinking of something if it goes in the journal, if it goes inside the envelope, we need a little bit more space, yeah? So I just dragged it down a little bit. So that's that. Um, we could put some more bling on, some little sequins or little gems. Okay, we've got some of these adhesive gems I've had forever. <laughs> Whether they still do them at Hobbycraft, I have no idea. Right now, I do put glue on, but I'm going to make sure. Um, the thing is, it doesn't need a lot. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. Right, so that's, yeah, like I said, very quick today. And then you find something nice to go inside. Okay. Like I say, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. So, and that sits in there. Lovely. Okay, because if I do, like I said, if I do do a stack, I don't want anything here. But you can, you know, you can, you can carry on and say decorate the back if you wanted to, if it's a single entity or something like that. Um, you could have something sort of down there like that. I'll do that so just slightly tucked under there. And that can look quite, that looks quite nice. Um, shall I do it? <laughs> do you know what? I'm going to put that down because that looks so nice. <laughs> Change my mind. Because that just went, the way it went around there was great. It's just, that's got glue on it. So just have to wait now. Okay, I'm going to tidy up a bit and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so it's all nice and dry. And I thought I had... A I put a little sticker on. I've had these for yonks. Whether they're still available, I don't know. Um, it's not something that I've seen recently, but um, and I thought I'd have something from here. I think there's two sheets of that. Actually, two sheets of words. Yeah, and the rest are sort of stickers and different things. Oh, is that another one? One, two, or oh, three? Yeah and then some stickers and all sorts but like I said not sure if they're still available but very nice let's have a look I think happy smiles and twinkling eyes for that one um, I'm going to glue mine onto a bit of file for folder and cut that out all right There we go. So that is done. Okay, well, sorry it's only a quickie this week. and um, But I hope you enjoyed it. Okay. And all oh, the back. There we go. That's the back. Not sticky now, so... And that will sit in there. Lovely. Okay. Perfect. Okay then, well thank you very much everybody for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!